I'm walking in a very unique Canadian forest, the Shaw Woods. This important woodland is located in eastern Ontario. The Shaw family, early pioneers in Renfrew County, have made this site available to the community. The trail system here takes you through an incredible variety of forest landscapes, including an old growth forest, a place where trees like this giant hemlock have grown undisturbed for hundreds of years. We are here in mid-February, winter season. A good time to look for animal tracks in the snow and identify some of the trees growing here. An incredible variety of trees grow in the Shaw Woods, including three species of native pine. Let's start by identifying this one. I suspect this tree is an eastern white pine. We can confirm that by inspecting the needles of this large conifer. The needles of a pine tree are its leaves. It turns out the needles are attached to the branches in bundles. And the eastern white pine has five needles in each bundle. Carefully removing a bundle and gently spreading the needles, we can see this bundle does contain five needles. This identifies this tree as an eastern white pine. Note that the word white has five letters, same number as the needles in a white pine cluster. An easy way to remember that white pine contains five needles per cluster. You probably know that scientists and researchers use special scientific names for all living things. The scientific name for white pine is Pinus strobus. There are many other features that can be used to help identify a tree like this, including length of the needles and features of the seed cones. But if you find an evergreen tree in a native forest of eastern North America with bundles of five needles, you can be very confident you have identified an eastern white pine, Pinus strobus. This plantation of large pines are different from white pine. Let's identify these trees. Inspecting the needles, it is apparent they are much longer and coarser than the white pine. Removing a bundle of needles and inspecting it, we find two needles. These long coarse needles, bundled in twos, tell us this is a red pine. Red pine is the only two-needled pine in eastern Canada with long needles. The scientific name for red pine is Pinus resinosa. This is another pine. It usually doesn't grow as large as white or red pine. Inspecting the needles, we find they're attached in bundles of two, but their short length tells us these are not red pine needles. This is a jack pine with short needles in bundles of two. The scientific name for jack pine is Pinus banksiana. We have to be careful with this identification. It turns out jack pine is very similar to another common pine, the Scots pine, Pinus sylvestris. The Scots pine is not native to North America, but it can be found growing everywhere and can be confused with jack pine. This is a grove of Scots pines. The Scots pine needles are short and in bundles of two, similar to the jack pine, but they are twisted together while the jack pine's needles form a V. The bark on the upper part of a Scots pine is often peeling, exposing an orange color. The jack pine never looks like this. The seed cones on a jack pine lay along the branch pointing away from the trunk. The seed cones on a Scots pine point back toward the trunk. Being able to recognize and identify trees is a wonderful skill to have, and learning to identify these four pine trees is a good place to start. There are lots of excellent guidebooks and online resources to help you identify the living things in your community. 
If you're visiting Eastern Ontario, plan a trip to the Shaw Woods. Check out the website at shawwoods.ca. For more science and technology related videos and activities, visit our website, hyloroad.com.